first time I was in California when I got off the airplane, I saw the sun. Energy from the sun is infinite. The hard part is to figure out how to use it efficiently. I came to Stanford about seven years ago, and since then I have been working on nanomaterials and solar energies. Nanoscience studies materials that are extremely tiny. A human hair is about 50,000 nanometer. There are two things that nanoscience can do to solar cells. One is to increase efficiency, the other is to lower the cost. When people think about traditional solar panels, they're quite expensive. Installation is quite difficult. We figure out a way to make solar cells as flexible and light as stickers. I was shocked to learn that all we need is just water. It's so simple. The solar sticker can be sticked to the back of a cell phone and that serve as a charger for your cell phone, just constantly charge it whenever the sun is there. My dream is that those type of solar stickers can be used anywhere. Working on renewable energy is not a choice. We have to do it because we're going to run out of fossil fuels. One day, maybe not tomorrow, but maybe 100 years, we have to rely on renewable energy. For me, it's the simple desire to provide electricity for regular people that keeps me motivated. People feel better if they know they're doing something good for the Earth. If you realize the electricity you are using does not generate pollutions and is renewable, I think people will be happier.